The reason why this is so important is because then you realize that the stress and anxiety that you might have going into today disappears. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you the first thing that I want you to do every single morning. And we all know at this point in time, I think it's pretty obvious to everybody if you're in personal growth or you've been working on yourself for a little while, that your morning routine is extremely, extremely important. And the way that you greet the morning is basically going to set a precedent for how the rest of the day is going to go for you. Now, if you have a morning, can you still have a great day? Yeah, of course. But if you have a great morning, will it make it easier to have a great day? Yes, of course. And so what I wanna to talk to you is what I think is the most important thing that you should do every single morning. In the way that I see a morning routine, I've been doing this for years. My very, one of my very first mentors, his name is Hal Elrod. He actually wrote the book, The Miracle Morning, which is the guy who blew up by talking about morning routines. And that's when really people started to take morning routines really seriously. So I've been doing morning routines for a while, about nine years now I've been focused on them. And a lot of times, a lot of people, and I've felt this way many times on my own, feel that a morning routine is basically like waking up to get a to-do list done, to get their checklist done, which I don't think necessarily is very inspiring. I don't think you're really inspired to wake up to go, okay, I've got to meditate and then I've got to read, I've got to do this and I've got to do this and I've got to do this and hopefully have enough time to get all that done. That's not very inspiring to wake up to a to-do list. And so if you find yourself not being motivated to get up earlier to do your morning routine, maybe it's because the morning routine itself isn't inspiring to you. The way that I've come to find what I want my morning routine to be is how I want to set my body and my mind to feel for the rest of the day. And so if I wake up and I've immediately got to go to meditating and I've got to go to journaling and I've got to go to this and I've got to go to this and I've got 10 different things that I have to do, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, a hurried feeling and I don't want to be hurried throughout my entire day. And so what I've done over the years is I've gone from doing a lot of things in the morning to doing just a few things in the morning based off of how I want to set myself up to feel. We all know that per first impressions are everything. When you meet somebody, that person, and if it's a, an, a, an amazing experience with them, you're usually going to have a, a great feeling towards them the rest of the time that you know them. If you had a really bad first experience, you might never even want another second experience with this person. So first impressions are everything. What is your first impression of every single day when you wake up? You know, are you jumping out of bed and you're grateful and you're excited to, 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 to start your day? Or do you hit the snooze button like, damn it, you know, I don't want to get up yet. I'm not ready to get up yet. And so what we want to do is we want to help you build a morning routine that actually gets you excited to wake up in the morning, where instead of being like, damn it, my alarm's going off. Now I've got to go up and I've got to turn it off and I've got to do all of these things. It's like, hey, what would be something that you're almost like wanting to get out of bed? Remember when you were a kid and there was Christmas for those of you guys that celebrated Christmas and like Santa would come and you couldn't sleep the night before? Like what if you had that feeling of you're about to wake up and go get Christmas gifts every single morning? If, if you were to have that feeling the moment that your alarm clock goes off, how can you create a morning routine that feels like that? You know, and part of it is this. I think it's very important as far as the way that you wake up in the morning is you've got to get up with your very first alarm. Don't hit the snooze. Don't hit it two, three, four, five times. When your alarm clock goes off, you've got to get up because you've got to think about this for a second. You as a fully conscious being set an alarm before you went to bed. You were fully awake and conscious at that moment. Now you're deciding as a not fully conscious being why you should be staying in bed. And so what happens is when you, when you hit your snooze button, you're automatically starting the very first second of your day off with a little bit of a loss. Now, is it a huge loss? No, but is it a little bit of a loss? Do you lose a little bit of confidence in yourself because you didn't follow through the way that you wanted to when you went to bed? Absolutely. And so you've got to think about how each action that you take sets your rest of your day off. So if you wake up and you wake up on the very first alarm and you get up and you brush your teeth and you go to the bathroom and you start your morning routine, that immediately is a little bit of a win. And so how can you set yourself up to win in every single circumstance? And so another example would be, you know, your alarm clock goes off and you get up when your alarm clock goes off. Then maybe you get up and you brush your teeth, you go to the bathroom, and then before you leave your room, you make your bed. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't give a damn about the way my bed looks. I, all I do in my bedroom is sleep. There's nothing else. I don't watch TV in there. I don't hang out in there. All I do is sleep. So there's really actually no reason for me to make my bed. The only reason why I make my bed is to actually feel like I'm completing a task. I'm following through on getting something done that I did. And that's it. 
And so the way that I see it is the same way that I wake up and I, I get up the very first time my alarm goes off. Well, then if I wake up and I'm also getting up and, and making my bed right after, I have now gotten two wins before I even leave my bedroom. So now I'm already starting to feel like, hey, Rob, you're, you're getting some shit done today. And so you've got to finish the task of each thing that you do. And it sounds small. It is super small. It's not a huge deal. It's not going to be life changing. But the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. If you're not making your bed, if you're not waking up on time and you're hitting the snooze button, you're doing this in other areas of life. You're not fully following through in every single thing that you're doing. If you're not following through on the tiny things in life, I'm positive that you're not following through on a lot of the big things in life. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So when your alarm goes off, get up. When you get out of bed, make sure that you make it. And the idea is to feel like you're leaning forward. This is an idea, and you've heard me talk about it on the podcast before, but the idea of leaning forward, you're, you're on your, your front foot versus your back foot. You're starting your day off intentionally versus reactively. So you're proactive versus reactive. You're getting up on time. You're making the bed. You have your morning routine decided what you're gonna be doing. And you wake up and you start leaning forward. You start the day on the offensive side versus on the defensive side. And I've lived the majority of my life, except for the past seven years, I would say, on the defensive side, waking up and just going about the life that I'm given and the day that I'm given versus waking up and actually being on the offensive side and feeling like I'm on my front foot and I'm leaning forward with everything that I do. When you don't wake up on time and you don't make your bed and, and all of this stuff, you're, you're on your back foot. You wanna be on your front foot. It's the small mental, mental wins that you have every single day. Now, here's what I do. The thing that I've started to, to really pay attention to is how I feel about my entire life. And so instead of waking up and feeling like I have to go and accomplish, which I felt this way for years and years and years, feeling like I have to wake up and accomplish and accomplish and accomplish and accomplish, what I've actually started doing over the past few years is waking up and literally thinking about how grateful I am for everything that I have. That's it. And just starting my day off in gratitude in some sort of way. And so as I'm going, you know, brushing my teeth and going to the bathroom and drinking my water and making the bed and doing all of those things, I actually try to bring into the forefront of my mind all of the things that I have that I can be grateful for. And you don't have to be rich or a millionaire or have a, you know, a, a banging body or the most, the hottest uh, significant other in order to be grateful for something. Like you have many things to be grateful for. If you're listening to this podcast right now, which you are, you have many things to be grateful for that many people in the world do not have. How can you bring those things to the front of your mind? Because what I tend to find out is that when you bring in gratitude while you're brushing your teeth, while you're going to the bathroom, while you're drinking your water, while you're you know making the bed, everything that you're doing, you're starting to actually set your day off to feel peace and joy versus feeling like stress and agitation, which is what a lot of people feel throughout the day. And so once again, from the very beginning of the moment I wake up, I'm trying to set my body in my brain as to how I want to feel. And then what I do is I come out, if you're watching this video and you're on you know, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, behind me is my living room. And so I go into my living room and my fiance and I meditate every single morning. We turn on you know, either guided meditation or we put on 20 minute uh, meditation music and we meditate every single morning. And the feeling that I try to bring into my body is the exact same feeling that I try to feel when I wake up in the morning. I'm trying to think of all of the things that I'm grateful for, all of the stuff that's been amazing for me, how I've been so blessed in my life. One of the things that I've, I've become really grateful for is all of my challenges and everything that I fucked up in. Because it's easy to be grateful for the things that went really well, but it's harder to be grateful for the challenges. It's hard to be grateful for people that have screwed you over in some sort of way. In my mind, what I'm trying to do is bring in every single circumstance that's made me into who I am, that's happened in my life, and try to feel grateful for it. So I literally try to feel the feelings in the center of my chest. And so I try to feel the feelings of gratitude. And, uh, and, and I just uh, what I've come to find out is that when you think about things that you're grateful for, and you think about all the stuff that you've had, and you think about all of the things that have brought you to the, to the life that you currently have, they all worked out perfectly. And you start to realize the phrase that, you know, you guys heard me say it before is, you know, it's Peter Crone says this, it's not me, is that it couldn't have happened. What happened happened and could not have happened any other way because it didn't. So what happened happened and could not have happened any other way because it didn't. And the reason why I love that is because you start to realize when you sit back and you start thinking about what you're grateful for, you start to realize how every single thing that's happened to you in your life has been perfect. 
Like it's like a perfect, cra perfectly crafted curriculum for you to be, you know, in the school of you, who you are exactly. Like I've had the perfect curricula for the school of being Rob Dial. The reason why this is so important is because then you realize that the stress and anxiety that you might have going into today disappears. And the reason why is because you've realized that everything that's ever happened to you, you've handled perfectly with the best that you possibly could. And so no matter what happens to you the entire rest of the day, you're going to handle perfectly at the best capacity that you can. And so there's no reason to have stress. There's no reason to have anxiety because you're going to handle it perfectly because everything that's ever happened to you, you've handled perfectly before because everything happened perfectly in your life. What happened, happened. It could not have happened any other way because it didn't. And when you start to bring those thoughts into your brain, your body starts to release chemicals, the hormones inside of your body that go with that. So if you start to think very stressful thoughts and what you have to do on your to-do list and people that have things going on and how the, you know, the weather is outside, you're going to start to release the chemicals, the hormones inside of your body that are adrenaline and cortisol and make you feel like crap. The stress hormones is what you're going to release. But when you sit down and you go, you know what? I have so much to be grateful for. My life has been perfect. No matter what happens to me today, I'm going to handle it perfectly because I've handled everything perfectly to the best of my capacity. Then you start to go, you know what? The beautiful thing about this is that I'm creating all of these thoughts, which are then also creating all of these hormones inside of my body that's releasing dopamine, that's releasing serotonin. And instead of feeling bad and anxious and stressful in the morning, I feel great. I feel great. I feel peaceful. I feel joy, feel, feel with joy. And you start to realize that what you focus on, you're going to get more of. So if I wake up in the morning, and I start, start thinking about the stressful thoughts and how I'm reactive and how I'm, I have so many things that I have to do and I'm stressed out about that, and I have the negative thoughts around that, I'm going to find more negative when I leave my house and I'm on my way to work and I'm in the world and I'm starting to work with people. But if I wake up and I think about what to be grateful for and all the stuff that's amazing in my life and I set my GPS, same way if I set my GPS to go in my car to go somewhere, but I'm setting my GPS to literally see all of the things that I can be grateful for, what's crazy is you go through the rest of your day starting to see more things that you'd be grateful for. So not only is your morning routine amazing and you feel amazing and joyful and peaceful from doing it, but you start to notice all of the other amazing stuff in your life that you also have to be grateful for throughout the rest of your day. And so that peace and that joy carries on throughout the rest of your day. So the way that you start your morning, if it's in stress and anxious and late and all that stuff, it's going to carry on through the rest of the day. But if you start with gratitude and joy and peace and love and all of the things that you want to bring in, you're going to find more of those things to have gratitude for and peace and love for throughout the rest of your day. What you appreciate, appreciate. So the question is, are you appreciating and focusing on the things that you want to get more of, or are you focusing on things that you don't want to get more of, right? And you got to think about your, your morning routine as setting yourself up for feeling the way that you want to feel throughout the day. Because doesn't it just sound nice? Doesn't it sound nice to just wake up and to, to number one, accomplish a couple small tasks to get to wake up on time, when you said you're going to, hey, that's a small win. To then going into the next thing of, hey, now I'm going to make my bed. That's a small win. And then when you're brushing your teeth, you're going to the bathroom and you're drinking your water and all of making your coffee or doing whatever it is that you're doing. You're thinking about all the things you'd be grateful for. And then you go in your meditation or your visualization or just sitting down and enjoying your cup of coffee. And you're thinking about all of the things that are amazing that you have to be grateful for. And you start to think about your challenges in life and you start to go, and I'm so glad that I did have that challenge. I'm so glad that that person did break my heart because then it set me up to know what I want for my next relationship. And what happens is you start to really set up the way that you want your life to be and your day to be. Doesn't that sound nice? So the thing that I would recommend for you is to just be fully present more often and to appreciate what's going on around you and to use your morning routine as an opportunity to set yourself up to feel the way that you want to feel, to program yourself, your feelings, your thoughts, your actions, your reactions to be the way that you want them to be throughout the day. You get rid of your anxious feelings. You get rid of all of your worrying because you realize that where you are is great. It's perfect. And you're not where you want to be yet. I'm sure if you listen to this podcast, you still want to be further along. But the beautiful thing is, you know that you'll eventually get to where you want to be because you're where you are right now because of everything that you've done. And if you focus on all the things to be grateful for, you'll eventually get to the point of where you want to be. And everything will work out perfectly exactly the way that you're supposed to. So instead of feeling like you have to wake up and check off a to-do list, set your GPS as to how you want to feel every morning. And if you set your GPS as to how you want to feel, how amazing this moment is, how it's only going to get better, your life is going to get more amazing and it's only going to get better with every single thing that you do. So that is the way that I want you to start your morning.
Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. You woke up. 150,000 people didn't wake up yesterday. Must be a reason. There must be some sort of purpose behind my life.